Okay, you're back with the Passion Fruit Walrus. We've uh, got some souls previously, and we've uh, bought another three embers, and we've got um, one more in endurance than we did before. So we're off to have another bash at the uh, the Lord of Cinder, Soul of Cinder, whatever the hell he's called, the Fiery Bastard. Long fiery bastard. Come on then. Ooh. Not good enough, Sonny Jim. Like this probably will we? Sight walked away from that, but there we go. Got that blue juice on. Fuck. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Right, phase two. Really bad idea. One, two. Oh shit, not this shit again. Oh fuck. Oh fuck it. If only I just had the time to rest us, I could have just been fine, but. Bastard. Okay, fucking hell. I am getting tired of being murdered by this guy. Bloody annoying that was. I was doing really well in the first phase as well. Got him down pretty quick. Had him down to half. Right in the second phase too. I could have got him if I just lasted a bit longer, but there we go. Oh well, never mind. Where's them? Oh, they're there. Oh shit. Bad fighting. Bad, bad time. Uh. Oh fuck right off.
Ooh. Dang, that was a bit last minute. Yeah. Oh shit. Here we go again. Okay. Okay, second phase. Got you. Taste that, you fiery fucking bellend. Soul of the Lords. Who's the daddy? Who is the fucking daddy? Right. Now let's kindle this fucker. Yes. Trivia and to link the first flame. Yeah, first time I've done that, even though I've played it several times, I've never actually done that for some reason. I think I keep cocking it up because the, uh, I keep bringing the fire keeper in and then I either don't link it or something else happens. It's, uh, yeah, a bit of a bugger. But there we are. That is Dark Souls 3. Um, I don't really like to say I have a favourite game because, um, I sort of think I like lots of games. I don't really want to say, like, there's one that's just overall better than any of the others, but I like Dark Souls 3. Thoroughly enjoy playing it, even though it is like a pain in the ass sometimes when you get stuck with a particular boss or something and you just die humiliatingly over and over again, as I did for that one, but uh, it's nice when you finally beat the bastard. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm sort of um, disappointed that they won't be doing more of the series because I rather like it and uh, it would be kind of cool. I suppose it would get samey if you leave it to go on for too long because you'll get bored of it eventually. But, I don't know. I think it'd be cool. It'd be interesting as well if they'd use like, a, a Dark Souls clone but with different things. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of like Star Wars, but I was thinking you could actually do something that's basically Dark Souls, but just has, like, the, the Star Wars skins over it all. So you'd be basically using, like, Force shit instead of the magic things, and you'd have a lightsaber or some other sort of fancy weapon instead of the, uh, the swords and things, and you could have, like, the, um, like the blasters or whatever instead of, uh, the bows and arrows and things, and there's like plenty of scope for sort of interesting alien bosses and, and things like that, so that could be kind of cool. Um, but I think they'd have to keep it very close to the way Dark Souls is and just, you know, put that skin on it. 
they could possibly do it with other things as well. It would probably work quite well with Warhammer, because there's, again, you've got that big scope, you could get the, the nasty, scary bosses, and there'd be a lot of options for creativity and things that you could put in, so... That would be kind of cool as well. Well, I don't think they'll do it, of course, but, uh, yeah. Apparently there are some Dark Souls clones out there, which I haven't actually played, I've just heard about them, so I'm not sure if they're actually anyway near as good as the originals, but, um... Yeah. So yeah, well, thank you for watching, everyone who has, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm still not 100% sure whether or not I'm going to bother with the DLC, uh, mainly because I didn't manage to beat, I think, all of it? Or did I? Well, I think when I played it through without recording it, I've managed to get through the DLC, but I haven't beaten a couple of bosses, I think? Or maybe there was just one. Yeah, I know I didn't beat the, uh, the, like, uh, the Dark Dragon, uh, Medea or whatever he is, in, um, in the Ringed City, in that part of the DLC. I think I've beaten the other ones. I think that's only him that I haven't beaten. He's a pain in the ass. So I might have a go. What I might do is sort of just have a go at playing the DLC again with this character, um, just record it as I go, and then if I can actually get through it, I'll, um, I'll put that up as well. If not, I, I won't bother because it's it's kind of dull if I just get stuck and um, well, if I'm completely stuck, of course, then uh, it's not going to be any fun for people to watch because either the uh, the recording things just uh, come to an abrupt end, or um, or it's just the same old shit over and over again where I just keep dying, which I don't want to be posting because it's boring, or at least I think it's boring. I don't know if people enjoy watching people just die over and over again, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, in theory, this was supposed to be a sort of magic-y type uh, playthrough. I, um, the plan was to sort of start out with a, a knight and then just upgrade all the magic stuff and, uh, just try all that stuff out, because I haven't really used it very much when playing Dark Souls 3. Um, but it sort of turned into more of a pyromancy thing towards the end because just because the uh, the chaos bed vestiges were doing like so much damage, and uh, just seemed to be working better than the spells did, so it sort of went with that. Um, of course, if I do do some more of the DLC, maybe I can try and sort of level up the uh, the intelligence and things a bit more and see if the uh, the spells start actually doing something useful. But they're not particularly good so far. So we shall see. Right, so I think I'm going to see if I can skip this. No, I can't. We're stuck just looking at it. Okay. Yeah, and if anyone has sort of enjoyed... Um, watching me play this or any other games, I mean, feel free to let me know if you'd like me to play anything in particular. I can't guarantee I will, but I'll certainly look into the idea, and uh, it'll be interesting to know what people think. Um, also, if anyone would particularly like to see me playing the DLC for Dark Souls 3, then uh, feel free to let me know. It'd be, uh, nice to have some feedback. Um, yeah. I do carry on playing with this character, though. I think it might be quite nice to actually get her, um... Uh, to, to reverse the hollowing. Just because she looks a bit shit when she's, uh, all zombified, in my opinion. So that might be something to do. Do a bit of soul farming or something, and then just, uh, reverse the old hollowing. It's bloody expensive to do, though. It's a bit annoying. It's sort of a thing that the game punishes you for, for no particular reason. It's like, if you go hollow, then you have to pay a lot to go back. I suppose, in a way, it's like making you pay for the, the whatever it is, the four or f the five, I think, the five free level ups or very low level ups that you get um, if you do go hollow. Um, you can actually buy a ring from Yuria, which makes you look as though you're not hollow, but then you, you're wasting a um, one of your your only four ring slots on something that's just for aesthetic purposes.
Yeah, so we've pretty much done all the bosses apart from the Nameless King. He is a pain in the ass to do, really, I found. I'm not sure if we can actually have another go at him, like, once the uh, the credits end, because once they do, you get the option to do New Game Plus, and, um... Uh... Dee 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 dee... Begin journey in current state. Journey 2 can be initiated from the Shrine Bonfire if you don't wish to begin now. So let's say no. And see where we end up. Just out of interest. I just want to know if I can actually sort of do him as well, just for sort of completion's sake. I'm not sure I will. If I do, I might sort of just add that to the... to... the phase when I do the DLC or something, if I do that. Um... And if not, then, uh, then whatever. So, if we press the bonfire... Yeah, we can begin Journey 2. And, uh... Yeah. But, um... Yeah, we'll leave that for another time. So, uh, we may or may not carry on with the DLC. Um, and we may or may not, uh, have a go at the, uh, the Nameless King again. But, uh... Yeah, we're done for now. So that was Dark Souls 3. I've been the Passion Fruit Walrus, and thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye for now. And let's see if... oh. See if we can just get a... wave? Because I'm not very good with the gestures, but bye-bye.